One thing that you should never do when studying mathematics is to dwell on the past. Okay, don't 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 dwell on it. It's not worth it. And so what I mean by that is like let's say you you took a test and you failed or maybe you took a class and you failed and it's just bringing you down, right? Every time you go to study for your class, you think about how you failed that test, how you didn't do well. You can't dwell on it. And you know it's easier said than done, right? It's it's really easy to get caught up in the past. People do it all the time. I know so many people who always dwell on their past. They're talking about like, yeah, you know, when I was in high school, this and that, or, you know, you know, it's not worth it. You know, we are here now, right? We are alive right now. What matters is the now and, you know, the possible future that you hope to have in your life. So it's better to focus on what you can do now because you know what? You can't change the past. You can't. So when you're studying for your math classes, if you've had some failures, and we all have, right? I mean, most people have. I mean, I know some people who have 4.0s, they got math degrees, they never failed a class, never failed a test, but most people fail tests. I've failed tests. It's normal, right? You have to focus on the present and you have to dream for the future. So if you're stuck, you know, in a rut, thinking about how, you know, you failed your test or, you know, you, you failed your math class, you know, get out of it because you can, you know. I mean, most people, I think, can do reasonably well in math. You don't have to be like some super genius to succeed at math. If, if you put in a lot of work, I think you can do well. I really think you can do it. Good luck.